cancer treatment of this then teaching the segmental approach of the heart using bedside echocardiography three important approaches we always follow to define the segmental approach is it of atrial atrioventricular and ventricular arterial to demonstrate visceral atrial looking at the situs is very important to demonstrate the situs i keep the probe in the subcostal area with the marker facing to the left this is called subcostal coronal view to have the image like this here you see the hyperechogenic area this is the vertebra anterior to that you have pulsatile structure anechoic area surrounded by hyperechogenic area the aorta right to the aorta you got collapsing vessel that is the inferior vena cava still image also you can see vertebra anterior to the vertebra aorta right to the aorta is the inferior vena cava this is called as situs solidus now i will define the venous connection to the atria to demonstrate the inferior vena cava connection to the right atrium i just tilt the probe like this with the marker a little bit to the right to demonstrate the moving image you can see here this is the liver what you see is the hepatic vein here this is the inferior vena cava and this is the right atrium so right atrium is identified by this is it is very very important just inferior vena cava connected to a structure means it is right atrium the still image also you can see liver inferior vena cava and right atrium now to demonstrate the connection of pulmonary veins into the left atrium for that you can use this probe and keep the probe in the apical area with the marker facing to the left to demonstrate you can see here both the gray scale and the color topple this is the left atrium you can see the anechoic structures in the area the pulmonary veins entering into the left atrium you can see the color flow here pulmonary vein flow entering into the left atrium after knowing the venous connection to the atria have to demonstrate the morphological differences between the right atria and the left atria to depend to define the morphological structures again the probe is kept in subcostal area just tilt up to view this moving image you can see the right atrium it is broader and blunt trapezoidal in nature you see the left atrium is narrow finger like appendage the still image also you can see here trapezoidal in nature or sometimes also called triangular in nature and the left atrium is narrow and then finger like appendage after knowing the morphological differences between the right atria and left atria using echocardiography demonstration of tricuspid valve and mitral valve is also important for that again the probe is kept in the four chamber view that is the probe is kept here in the apical area and you see two important valves 
right atrium connected to the right ventricle in between that we have got right cuspid valve left atrium connected to the left ventricle you have got mitral valve difference between tricuspid valve and the mitral valve is tricuspid valve is more apical than the mitral valve so keeping the probe there the same area apical area one should appreciate the morphological differences between the right ventricle and the left ventricle. Right ventricle is coarse trabeculated. Even the septum you see is coarse and trabeculated. And very interesting phenomena exclusively for the right ventricle is the septo marginal band. It is connected between the septum and the annulus this is called septo marginal band also called as moderator band look at the left ventricle it is not coarse fine trabeculated even the septum is not coarse it is smooth that's how you differentiate between the right ventricle and the left ventricle This row, uh, sorry, the ventricular arterial connection also is demonstrated using the bedside echocardiography. For that, the probe is kept in the left second intercostal space, like this. The marker facing to the left shoulder joint to define the structure here. This is the aorta and anterior to the aorta is the pulmonary artery. This is what is called great artery relationship which is seen normally. Normally pulmonary artery is situated anterior to the aorta. Aorta acts like a cup, pulmonary acts like a saucer. This is also called as cup and saucer. So in the nutshell, the segmental approach of the heart is very important. One should always keep following the track of the segmental approach if one wants to define congenital malformation of the heart. If you like this video, kindly subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you so much.